Welcome back to Brotato and today we have a crazy game together with the Multitasker. A unique character that can equip up to 12 weapons and we'll go bonkers with the SMG. The SMG is a weapon known that it's, you know, it shoots fast but it's very weak. But we'll just go crazy with low level SMGs and then we bump up the damage like crazy. For this I need a particular setup where we have 3 bosses that we fight, so see you in a moment. And there we go, we will face three bosses. Now usually the way I make my videos and why I'm able to make these, you know, crazy videos like 600% explosion size or the 1000% attack speed, I reset the game until the things happen that I want to have. But today I'm not in a mood for that. So when we get to certain shop milestones, I will give the items to myself as if I got them. That is simply to save some time on all of the resets that I'm usually doing. Let's actually go for, yeah sure, attack speed, there we go, now. SMG. Fertilizer could be good, but we'll just keep going with this. And when we reach shop wave 5, 10, 15 and 20, I will give myself certain items if we don't have them yet. The reason is quite simple. It's easy to force certain items, but combinations are really difficult to do. So let's just enjoy the power that can be behind this if everything is achieved and let's go bonkers with it. Talking about the multitasker, as I said he can have up to 12 weapons and the SMG is amazing since, well, it shoots very fast and all you need is bonus damage that you scale it up like crazy. Now the character that we are playing right now, the multitasker, starts with plus 20% damage, we can equip 12 weapons, but for every weapon that we equip we lose 5% damage. In other words, at 12 weapons we will have negative 40% damage, so we have to compensate for that and there's a coupon, amazing. There's another SMG and that was already it we can't get more and we have to find a balance between getting enough weapons but not losing too much damage early on it can be also very difficult to get enough range damage since you know a level up just gives plus one though we will have level five here where i will definitely go for plus two range damage which adds one damage point to every single smg that we have since well you get 50 percent of that applied very nice there's a crate beautiful oh there's another tree do i want to go for that oh i didn't get it that is sad Oh, uh, we got gentle alien. That is actually very good. Nice. And there we also have the plus two range damage so we can check our SMGs. They right now have four damage and we have two more SMGs. Beautiful. And what I'll do now is I can go in here and I can say I give myself the coupon. As you can see here, I now have five coupons. They don't apply yet. They only apply to the next shop. But this just saved me rolling for the coupons until we finally get them. I think I will ignore the lumberjack shirt. Okay, that is actually huge. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah, let's get that. Nice. But as you can see, we right now have 8 SMGs and our damage is down to negative 10%. That means we have to be very careful that we bump this up again. We still have 4 damage right now, so that's good. We can easily deal with the enemies. But if you are careless, then this quickly turns around and suddenly the enemies overwhelm you. But as I said, this is a crazy build and we will have insane damage as you'll see once we start facing bosses. Only 3 out of 10 people watching are subscribed so if you enjoy the content please consider subscribing and giving the video a like. The first few elite fights will probably still be very difficult since uh, we will just die if we get hit multiple times so I have to be careful but the further we get into the game the more damage our SMGs will have and with 12 SMGs yeah you can imagine. That ramps up quite quickly. Let's get more attack speed. There's a purple SMG. Beautiful. And I think I will also go for the leather vest here. So let's just lock this. How do I want to do that? This is actually a little bit difficult. I think I will just get both of the SMGs that we already have more weapons. But uh, take a look at our damage right now. The SMGs are now back down to only 3 damage. Which can be a problem. But this wave here should be relatively easy given that we have so many weapons. And there are obviously multiple ways how you can play this character. But having one of the best scaling weapons in the game is probably a very good idea. Given that you have this huge power bonus of multiple weapons to compensate early on. That they are relatively weak. Now the next wave that we are facing is wave 7. This one can be incredibly hard to deal with, but with our amounts of weapons, especially once we have wisdom and the uh, armor that we'll also get, I think this should be more than fine. Oh, there we go, let's destroy this. Oh, sadly nothing in there but 200 material. Yeah, that is fine, let's recycle this. We'll go for the luck here simply because it was offered as well as the percent bonus damage. And now we can get the wisdom and the leather vest. I will also take the head injury here and I will combine until we reach 4 damage on the normal SMGs. Let's see, there we go, beautiful. 
I did reduce the overall damage that our weapons put out, but this just makes it easier to scale them up with wisdom. And starting off with 4 damage is a huge difference, just that the enemies die a little bit faster and don't get to build up. As you can see this dude just took a ton of bullets and this will be a consistent issue on this wave since I can't deal with all of the eggs that are on the stage here and that's why we have to make sure that our wisdom gets us to 5 damage and nukes them. Well at least, hopefully you know. Uh, another one just spawned, I will focus him down, there we go. And we have even a tree, sadly nothing in there. I really need the crates, it would be great to have additional trees, but I decided to limit heavily what kind of items I can give myself to pretty much just those that I would farm for, meaning I just keep resetting the game until I have them. More crit, that is actually huge. I think I will take that. We have a free reroll, beautiful. We also have even more crit, wow, okay. And I guess I can also go for the attack speed and the range to kill the enemies a little bit faster. This wasn't a great job since uh, we only have 7 weapons, I would like to have more. But at 11% damage, we will ramp up our damage very quickly, like this is a bulky wave, so we have to be very careful to not get hit here. But yeah, Wisdom will increase our damage rather quickly, so right now we already have negative 1% instead of the 11%. And if we check again, now we have positive damage. So instead of the 4 damage, our weapons are dealing 5 damage, beautiful. Now you obviously don't need to have wisdom to go bonkers here. If we just had the base damage without the minus 20% that wisdom applies, then we would be more than fine to kill all of these enemies in time. Ooh, we got 2 crates. That is very nice. There we go. Let's kill them. These bulky boys are actually quite a problem. That is, uh, that is something. As in the normal chunky boys, they are fine, but the one with the armor. Plus 1 HP recovered, sure, why not? Bonus HP, not perfect, but you know, it may save me something and I will look for bonus damage here. There we go, range damage, perfect. And we have the next SMG as well as a scope. Ah, I'm not all too convinced if I want to have the blindfold. It's minus range, but that should still be fine. Yeah, 5% crit, I mean that's solid, let's go for it. Now we face wave 9, this is a farm wave, we just want to make sure that we keep our distance. The normal enemies they are more than fine, but once the tanks come in they could be a problem. But I'm not all too concerned, because we just shred the typical enemies, and once the tanks are there, they are the only thing left over, and then they will also get destroyed. And uh, there they are, yeah that's not a problem. Okay, very nice. We are up to 300 material right now, it would have been amazing to have a hunting trophy before we have this wave here. This is usually what I aim for in these crazy videos, that you have a perfect setup. We didn't get it, but don't worry about it, we'll have it in a moment. There's another crate, beautiful, and oh wow, almost 500 material, that is insane. Oh, that's not too bad, yeah, that's amazing. Let's recycle this, and I will just look for bonus damage. Oh, both of these are really good. I think I will go for the percent damage here. 45 range is also solid. And since we reach a shop wave 10, it's now time that we get some hunting trophies. So right now we have 3 hunting trophies, but we need the crit to back it up to get the bonus material. And this is what I'll be working on now. Well, the lucky charm is actually quite good, and the missile is also fine. It's not perfect, but it's definitely fine. Uh, bean teacher, that we get more experience, beautiful, we need that, that is also good, this is also good. I don't want to have the medal, while the percent damage would be nice, it also removes the crit again. And our weapons right now only crit for 29% chance across all of them, so I have to bump this up quite quickly. And there we go into the wave 10. Wave 11 will be the boss fight, so I will look into bumping up my damage as much as I can, since right now it's more than enough to deal with the enemies, but it's not enough to deal with the enemies and the boss. So we hopefully earn a ton here, maybe 300 would be nice or 400. And then we can buy a lot of things to hopefully deal with the bosses easily. Now one concern is of course that the boss will just kill me. That means I have to keep my distance and things like range or just in general damage will help us to clear out the enemies and not get touched by anyone. Ooh, that was actually, well, that was close. Okay, careful there, careful. Despite having the blast 2 bonus armor on the ladder rest here, we are still negative since we got bonus crits. And if the enemies touch me right now, I think they deal around 20-ish damage, maybe 15 or so. That means, at most, I can take one hit and then I'm dead. And as far as I remember, bosses actually deal 20 damage, so it would be good to bump up my armor just by one here. 548, that is way more than expected. That is also good, the negative damage is not so great, but I'll take it. Here I'll take the luck and here I'll take the range damage. Should I take the alien magic? Ah, oh, it's quite expensive, but I'll take it. Just that we can take an additional hit. Ugly tooth, that is also helpful. Sure, why not? And two SMGs, beautiful, another SMG. We also have the blindfold. Yeah, I'll take that again, that's fine. So, are you ready for the boss fight? We right now have 8 damage, 10 damage and 11 damage. But every 5 seconds we'll get percent bonus damage. 
I will try to kill him, because if not, then the entire reset in the beginning was for nothing. Oh, wow, they're actually incredibly tanky. Uh, we are taking him down, but the... Ooh, okay, okay. The main problem, obviously, being the additional enemies that spawn. Oh, okay, I have to... Oh, I have to be way more careful than I thought I need, I need to be here. Um, okay, I don't think I can kill him. That is a little bit sad. That means in the beginning I wasted my time, and we won't get a red item here. It's still okay. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I may be able to do this. I have 18 HP right now. If I can survive this here. Wait, hold on. Ooh, I have to get through. Oh, wow, that is close. Okay, I have to run away for a moment and maybe recover my HP a little bit. Not too sure how I will do that. There's another... Okay, here, 17. Can we kill him? We can... Oh, my God, that was close. Okay, I can't believe how close that was. That is actually insane. That is straight up insane. But either way, there we go. We now build up a ton of damage towards the end of it. That is sadly... I, you know what? I'll take it. It's not perfect, but... <laughs> uh, I thought this round would be relatively easy, and it wasn't. I almost died. More range damage. Beautiful. Let's go for the Vigilante Ring. That will help us. I think I can also lock my HP. This shouldn't be a big problem, since we don't actually want to have a lot of HP. We just want to kill enemies. And let's start combining these. Lumberjack Shirt is good. I could go for the Lucky Charm here to get better level ups. Yeah, that sounds good. And let's continue at wave 14. We have the next boss fight. I hope this one will go a little bit better than this one there. That was... <laughs> I almost died there. I can't believe it. That was, that was something else. Oh, uh, either way, okay. Let's just continue, okay? L let's forget what happened there. The future is looking bright, and eventually it should be relatively easy to deal with the enemies. I'm saying relatively because we still take a huge amount of damage when they hit me. And uh, some of these enemies, yeah, they start shooting like crazy and I can't change that. Now, I do hope that the next boss is maybe the chef. Is the chef actually good for us? Or would maybe be the best one, the one that drops the eggs? Because we just keep shooting and killing normal enemies. Maybe that would be better. Ah, but I don't know if we can deal with the axe and the boss and the normal enemies. That may be a little bit too much, but looking at the damage right now... Yeah, 35 crits, 20-ish damage on my guns. No, I think all of the bosses would be fine. So, let's go for... I will actually take the armor here. 9% speed, no, I'll take the crit. We have more luck, beautiful. And there's another scope, that is also good. We have a purple SMG. I will just combine two of them, we'll get yet another scope. That is actually... Wow, okay, did we just get three scopes here? Yeah, I think we just got three scopes. That is insane. Look at our wheel of death. Oh my god. This is in the very beginning without the wisdom buffs. That is just crazy. You can have such ridiculous fun runs in Protato if you just reset your runs until you get them. But the problem is the odds. They are so unlikely. So it's really hard to see them. And that's why I usually like demonstrating them. Because I think it's something unique that you don't see all too often. But today I sadly didn't have the time for that. So, sorry. Oh wow. How are they still surviving so long? Ah, okay, so the bullets are a problem, since I can't deal with them once they are out. Okay, and this is also not great. I need more range damage. I can't believe that I'm saying that after we just got like 6 range damage or so. Uh, that is wild, okay. We have 646 material and 5 HP, we don't need that, no. Oh, that is good though. And um, that is one range damage. It's ha It has its issues, but it's fine. Uh, another SMG. I will combine yet again the other SMGs that we had. The Gummy Berserker, I'll not do that. Does this count as an SMG? That counts as an SMG, right? Huh, I didn't plan for miniguns. But it's an SMG. It's like a super powerful SMG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's combine them. Let's take this. Y you can't say anything against that logic. Oh, more enemies. And we get lifesteal. Beautiful. Well, are you ready to fight the next boss? Let's hope that it's a cook. Or maybe... I I'm not even sure. Okay, it's a, it's a baller. That is... I think that's okay. We should be able to destroy the balls. We are not allowed to let them spawn. This is very important. Because if they spawn, then they will just constantly strike me. And I, I don't think I can deal with that. But uh, yeah, there we go. That is a power. I mean, to be fair, we now have the minigun support, but the minigun only in quotation marks deals 22 damage. Like, if we compare them right now, here you have the minigun, here you have a purple SMG. Uh, do you see something? I still don't understand why the cooldown is red on the SMG, but they are pretty much very similar, except this one has piercing and shoots twice as fast, which is a huge difference, don't get me wrong. But uh, <laughs> I think you would agree that a minigun is a little bit more rare than an SMG. Hopefully we get something good out of here. With my luck, I will probably just get SD's couch or something like this. I don't want that, 
What I would want is speed, and then we get the power generators that give us bonus percent damage. That is at least a ridiculously strong combination if you need a lot of percent bonus damage. 12% uh, damage, minus dodge, minus harvesting, you know what? I will actually take that just for the damage. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Small magazine, nice. We are by the way on the wave 15, so we will get a little gift in a moment. That is uh, exactly what I was looking for, actually. <laughs> it's funny. Glass cannon, huge. And trees, yeah, sure, why not? And we have another mouse, that is beautiful. Do I also take the hedgehog? Ah, it's one damage, yeah, let's take it. So what I added now are gentle aliens, that we have a total of 10 of them, we already had 2, and 3 mice, usually I would have went up to 5, but we have one locked in the shop, so let's just wait until we get that. And there's the next round, that means we will earn a lot more than we ever did before. The only thing we are missing right now still is critical strikes, I think I will work on them, that we just improve that a little bit and earn even more money. So every level up that we get, I will just put that into either range damage or critical strikes, but if we get both, then I obviously go for critical strikes. Okay, careful there, well, this is going fine. We still have negative one armor, that means if I do get hit by bullets, I have to be careful, they may deal a ton of damage, I think right now they deal, let's actually see, 18, oh my god, okay, <laughs> um... Okay, I thought they would do like 12 damage or so, but uh, that is a lot. That is a lot of damage. Oh, this is great. 1.2k material. By far, it definitely doesn't feel as satisfying as if you would do this on your own. Uh, I want to have the crit here. I mean, I could also take the range damage. Now, let's look for crits. I think I'll take the armor here, okay? Just that nothing goes wrong. We can go for the attack speed. Wasn't the crit. That is a lot of bonus damage, though. That is 3% crit. I'll take that. Yeah, the entire thing doesn't feel as satisfying as if you would do this on your own. But these videos, they usually take ages. But sometimes you simply can't afford it time-wise. Let's combine these. And we have another purple SMG. Obliterator doesn't fit our build at all. I mean, it has 1,000 damage. Do I say no to that? No, I think I will just, you know, I will obliterate. That sounds good. Very slow attack speed, but 1.1k damage. Uh, when that hits, then it hits really hard. The obliterator should be incredibly good against bosses. Funny enough, I don't think it gets even close to the damage the minigun deals right now. So the minigun deals 56 damage and attacks roughly 18 times a second. And attacks roughly 17 times a second. Uh, yeah, so within a single second it almost deals as much damage as the obliterator, but the obliterator takes way longer to shoot. Okay, yeah, the minigun is definitely winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything is just dying. Uh oh, oh, hey, hey, mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's kind of funny to see the tankiest enemies in this game die like flies. Wow. And if you're, by the way, interested to see some of these crazy runs that were unmodded, then I have linked a few in the pinned comment that you see on the screen right now, where, you know, we had some crazy things going on. Tree, very nice. And we have more range. Oh, I actually want to have the crit here. That would be perfect. The crit is hiding, there we go. I don't know what's going on with the crit. 15% attack speed is also fine. Definitely don't want anything here, and oh my god, that is a lot of bonus damage. I'll take that, there is one range damage. Another hunting trophy, beautiful. Do I take the lifesteal? No, we have more than enough. Keep in mind, lifesteal is limited to max 10 HP per second, so we can't go all too bonkers with this. Another blindfold, another glass cannon. <laughs> oh, wow, here. Oh, there we go, next, oblit next obliterator. I don't think I care too much about the leather vest. Yeah, let's just go all glass cannon, that's good. So, where up there? It's the cook. I have to be super careful because his strikes can always hit me. What just happened to him? <laughs> I didn't even see what happened to him, what? But that is insane. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, that is a... <laughs> that is um, a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Okay, uh, sure, sure, sure. I guess having a weapon that deals 3.2k damage 70% of the time. Yeah, look at the obliterator right now. There, the crit. It's 3.3k damage 70% of the time. Yeah, that just melts bosses. Though all of our weapons are just melting them. Oh my god, this is beautiful. In general, the multitasker was always one of my most favorite characters, but you really need a great start with a lot of good paws, because otherwise it's hard to afford all the things that he needs. I don't need that, I'll rather take the money, that is good though. And let's... Uh, where is crit? There's 3%, wow. <laughs> Doesn't really want to show up for some reason. 3% more crit, nice. And no, you don't belong to me. Slingshot, also not range damage. Oh, crit chance, beautiful. Even more glass can Schmoopy Poopy, nice. <laughs> Look at our armor right now. <laughs>
<laughs> if I get hit once, I will just get decimated. And, oh, do we need that? Yeah, we need that. And we have 91% crit right now. Uh, more attack speed is also fine. And even more crit. 96%, 98. And you have 98. Okay, same level. Let's just continue to the next wave here. Do I want to... Yeah, let's take the chameleon. And there we go. How much damage are we dealing? Uh, I don't see the obliterator right now. Oh my god, that was a 3k crit. It will go higher up because of wisdom, you know, every 5 seconds we get 5% bonus damage. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, this is working out just right. That is working out exactly as hoped. That is perfect. And if you got to this point but you were wondering why am I not going more bonkers with the things that I give myself, the reason is that I want to reflect a scenario that can happen but is just unlikely to happen instead of something that is just out of the world, you know, that will never ever happen. And uh, there we go, three crates, that is incredibly good. Speed minus luck, sure, oh, that is, yeah, sure, why not, there we go, and do we even need more crit? I don't think so, right? Yeah, we have 96%, that is enough, you're fake, Shmoopy Poopy. Another SMG. In fact, we have to combine these. Wow, we don't even have a second blue one. That means we have a red SMG. Beautiful. And another blue SMG. And there's our second red SMG. Wow, this keeps just going. That is nice. How much crit do we have? That will still be good. Nice one. Another blue SMG. We have so much money. We can buy everything. Now, the baby with a beard is nice, but I don't know if it can crit. And I'm not gonna waste my money that I get by killing the enemies. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> My armor. <laughs> My poor armor. Oh, the luck was a little bit late, but maybe we get one or two more crates here. You know, who knows? Let's see. There we go. 104 starting damage. I really wonder if we will just nuke the boss out of existence or if I will just get hit a couple of times and die. I hope it doesn't happen, but I will go in ballsy instead of just, you know, running away and waiting until the damage goes up. But a double boss fight while the enemies are shooting their balls at me could be a little bit dangerous with... What do we have right now? Minus 9 armor. <laughs> we take 40% more damage than usual. That is, uh, that is a little bit. Yeah, well, just gotta make sure that I hoover up everything. Oh, there we go. Careful that I don't accidentally run into an enemy. Even those normal enemies here, if they hit me, that is a lot of damage. Like, a ton of damage. Remember how the one bullet did 18 damage to me? Yeah, now imagine that on enemies on wave 19, if they would hit me. Oh, there we go. We got three crates. Yeah, that is solid. Maybe a red item. Not a red item. Not a red item. Still not a red item. That is a little bit sad. We'll take the range damage because there's nothing that we really need. And the dodge, beautiful. We have another purple SMG. Exoskeleton, I don't think we need that. No, that doesn't really benefit me. Octopus. Octopus is pointless, but let's take these two. We have another purple one. Beautiful. Attack speed and three... <laughs> Should we just take the gummy berserker? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? It's not like we are losing anything. Oh my god, we have so many red SMGs right now. Oh, oh that's useless. Oh, yeah, this is good. That is also useless. Man, I'm skipping so many amazing things. Wow. Um, Do we actually max this out? No, we are too far away, right? Yeah, we still have a purple one. Oh my god. Okay, Uh, that is decent. Yes, let's roll. I just need something good here. A blue SMG. I can't get that. Unless I combine the obliterators, I don't think that's worth it. No, 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 no. Poison's tonic would be nice, but that is all of our money. And I think you all know what the final item is that is coming now. Retromation's hoodie for 174% attack speed. So here are all the items that we have at the end of this run. The Retromation hoodie is not shown yet, but you will see. 84% attack speed. And we have 298% attack speed. Okay, I have to be... <laughs> Wait, what just happened? <laughs> huh? wait, 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 why was my material negative? What just happened? <laughs> the boss has just died. But that was an interesting run. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe. And as I mentioned, the videos will be in the pinned comment if you want to check them out.